Adams here and welcome back to the Mini Cooper S that I would like to see you win for just 4929. There's tickets down below, BG Giveaways have sponsored this video and I'm heading over to Beauty Garage to collect my 350Z, drop this back off so they can have it back and then tell you and show you how my 350Z rat has coped after a year of daily driving. Everything's rattling in the back. Go, go, go. <laughs> That's the Ferrari F430 Spider. There's a McLaren 720S coming. What's going on with this traffic this morning? It's great. There it goes. So on the evening of the 21st of June, you can join me over on my Facebook page for the live reveal of who wins this car. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god. No! Oh, I couldn't film in time. I just drove past the yellow 350Z convertible. There's one, one in the country, and it lives around here. Oh, I didn't get the camera started in time. <laughs> oh dear. To that. <coughs> anyway, here we are, beauty garage. So here it is, and it is quite a bit dirty, because as I said, this is my daily car. I have been using it daily. It's in the VG Giveaways studio, so I'm going to give this a wash. Then I will show you how the wrap has fared after a year, a bit of bird dirt, after a year of the wrap being on the car. And yes, bird poo does eat into it a little bit. Oh, no. So a quick wash done and it scrubs out pretty well this car. Every time I wash it, it looks fantastic, but there is a bit of etching from the bird poo. So I'm gonna try and see if I can polish it out. I don't think I can, but you can use bits of polish on wraps. So I don't know if you can see some of the etchings that the bird dirt's done, but mm, it doesn't seem like it's coming out. I might improve it. Mm, no, um, I think I might have ruined the boot lid by letting that sit on the car. Hmm, might have improved it, but I shall take this out to the new forest to show you all around the car and how it is coped with daily driving with a wrap for a year. Something happened. Out the road. What are you doing, sir? Um, yeah, I was thinking that yellow 350Z that I saw earlier, the factory yellow convertible, he must hate me because this is a very recognizable car. As soon as I'm out in this, I get spotted because it's bright yellow. So he must get a lot of people thinking that he is me. So sorry, whoa, caravan. It's silly loud, this car. It's a cat back exhaust system, twin power flow back boxes, but the sports cats, that's what did it. It's actually helped my MPG. If you think about it, a loud exhaust means that you're going to annoy people, so you end up short shifting everywhere. So actually, I'm on 30.5 MPG, and that is an average from about the start of the year. Right, let me show you how the car has fared and as I said something happened partially my mostly all it was my fault also this is broken I don't know if that's common but it has so if you remember going back to last year this was wrapped by Carduzio for my first car show Adam Seafest and it had the Adam Seafest branding and graphics all over it so they were on top of the yellow wrap this is Avery. Bright yellow is their colour. That is the company that makes this wrap and I have to say it is fantastic. Carduzio did an amazing job and I took off all the stickers after Adam Seafest and they didn't seem to leave any mark. I mean you've got a little bit of residue left but I haven't seen in the direct sunlight any evidence of the Adam Seafest branding. You can see it's very swirly because as I said, it's difficult to polish a wrap. You can do it, but you can't exactly use a paint depth gauge to see how much paint's left. 
because it's not paint. Painted cars don't come close to this wrapped 350Z. I think it looks fantastic and it's the best colour. As we know, yellow always is. I think if I was to replace this, I would have to get something yellow. Carduzio did an amazing job because the paint underneath wasn't at its best. So the, there was a bit of damage on the front that they had to sand down and then the paint on the boot of this car had been resprayed. A few of the panels have been resprayed in this car's past. So a lot of the paint was actually coming off when they were taking the wrap off to adjust it. So most of these panels underneath are pretty much just primered. They're plastic panels, but they managed to use the last of the material in the time frame that they had to wrap these panels. As for imperfections, I think there were like a little edge there, just a tiny one you can see. I'm using a GoPro because my camcorder broke. It's at the Mendes at the moment, so excuse the GoPro content. And then along here, it just looks a little bit. I mean, it's a great job. It is a really good job. I am literally picking the smallest of holes in it. But from a bystander's point of view and on camera, this car looks fantastic. Another imperfection was just here needs to be tucked under the headlight, but in order to do that, I should really take the headlights out. Couldn't be bothered to do that, and now it's a little bit too late. I don't think that will adhere. So that hasn't actually got any worse in the whole year of driving it. Maybe a little bit there, but after a year, that has not got any worse. How strong is a wrap? So what I'm talking about now is stone chips. So when I decided to make this video, I had one, one stone chip. That was about two months ago. I was like, I'm gonna do a year of a wrap because I couldn't believe I'd only got one stone chip and that one appeared within a month of having it wrapped. Since then, I had none. However, I probably should have made the video there and then because I think, where was the, I think that might've been the original stone chip there, quite a big one. Since then, I've acquired one right in the middle, down low. That is a bug that I've hit on my way here. And then you've got a tiny one there and then this one literally appeared this week there so i have four stone chips i don't think that's all too bad because i do thousands of miles in this car every year and they're all fast motorway miles where you get lots of stone chips so it's good to see that it hasn't got too many now trouble with wrap is you can't really touch in a stone chip with paint because it's not paint. There's not really any other blemishes on the wrap and not a lot of it has come off. Obviously here is where it gets most of the battering. It's fine on this side, around the front I believe it's, it's fine as well. But around the other side I had a little bit peel off. So what I did was I got a Stanley knife and I just edged it. So you can see where I've cut the edge because it was peeling off there. But I think that's the only bit in the arches. Talking of arches, I used to store the chaser down a dirt road. The dirt would get in the arches from driving down there when it was wet, obviously. So as a result of a couple of months of doing that, the dirt had settled in here and now it's starting to rust or it had started to rust because of all the moisture in the dirt. That was the only spot of rust that was on the car when I bought the car. So at least it's in the same area. Literally, it's a 2006 Nissan. They should be very crusty. Underneath it's a little bit orange, but that's the only bit of visual rust that I have found on the entire car. Right, let's talk about my little problem that I had. So the other day I was reversing into the driveway then I realized, no, I want to go front in because I wanted to put it up on some ramps to change the oil. So I did an oil change and I did the spark plugs on this the other day. So I turned around, I got the angle a little bit wrong. And again, I decided to make this video before I did that error. And if I had done, I could have shown you, look, it's perfect. It's got one stone chip, but since then, I've done something bad. But before I show you what I've done, I want to show you what Chloe did. Well, I don't know if it was Chloe, but while she had the car, it acquired this little line out the back. I don't know how easy it is to see it, but it was a lot worse. It was actually two lines and I managed to polish it out. So you can polish a wrap, that is proof. Another thing, this bumper gets very black and stained. You can see under there where I haven't cleaned it very well from the uh, sports cats. So after a week or so of driving it around, it gets quite dark. But as I said, look, it cleans up 
pretty well. I'm stalling because I don't want to show you what I did. It's only small, but it's annoying. There you go, there it is, that's my gouge. So, I mean, the wrap has come off. I need to get a sharp knife in that to take this bit of wrap off. But it's gone through to the paint and through the lacquer and to the metal. And weirdly, it hasn't rusted. So, is this aluminium? It's very light metal, but that's very annoying. It's also dented in the panel a little bit as well. And then in my annoyance, I drove forward and uh, I did the same to the wing mirror. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to go to Halfords and find the closest match of paint to this wrap as I can find, because I'd rather have a yellow gouge than a uh, blue or primed or metal gouge. So. It needs repairing anyway. If I take the wrap off, you'd need to do some paint to that panel anyway, so it won't matter. It's got spots of yellow in it. So I'm gonna go to Halfords, get some yellow paint, touch in the stone chips, and all will be well. I tell you what, the chaser would not get over this terrain. It's a good job this is the daily, and uh, haters are gonna hate about me uh, putting paint inside the wrap, to which I say, good job it's not your car. Right, here we go. Halfords. What will we find in the Halfords car park? It's always a treat. It's M4 and it is purple. It's an MR2 and a Civic hatch. Oh, dunk. So I'm going to need a sample of the colour to match the paint to, so just peel a bit of the wrap off. They've actually got no yellows. I can't see any yellow. Oh no, oh, yellow. Yeah, I think that will do. Rosa Inca yellow is actually the best match, but they only have aerosol, so I'm going to have to stick with just yellow. Sure, have to say does look good. Will look better with the yellow. And for £4.20, that will do. It's not quite as vibrant. As I said, it's really vibrant. This isn't quite as vibrant as the wrap, but I'd rather it look yellow than how it looks there. This is insane. Ah, the wing mirror. These front ones should be the satisfying ones. Donk, 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 donk. I'm turning into Homer Simpson. Also, here is the M4 I spotted earlier. But here we have it, the finished product of today. I'm not going to claim I've been doing anything hard, but it looks a little bit better now, especially the front. You can barely see the stone chips. It's a shame that the paint is not quite as vibrant as the wrap. There you go, down the side. I might do another coat, especially here, just to kind of neaten it up a little bit, but I think yellow looks much better than what it did before. So there you go, a year with a wrapped yellow Nissan. What would you do? Would you sell it? Would you rewrap it? Would you keep it? Drive it to the ground? I like the last option. It's been good to me recently and it still looks the part. When it's clean, doesn't that look fantastic? Yes, the roof still doesn't work. I need to buy a whole new roof. That's about 1,800 pounds for just the roof, which is like almost half the value of the car. I really don't want to have to do that. It's a high mileage engine, which might, you know, go bang. I've been saying that for the last year as well, and it hasn't done. It's been good to me. It just drinks a lot of oil. So I don't know. I like it. I like it. It's got cruise control, heated seats, the aircon works. The only thing it doesn't is the roof. So it's here to stay for now. Maybe I should, I don't know, change it up a bit. Like YouTubers are expected to change their car like every three months and I've had this for four and a half years. So I'm not a proper YouTuber. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. A little bit of insight into the wrap and its condition. Go follow me on all social channels for the updates, highlights and pictures of the meets I go to and the things I do with my car. But for now, thanks for watching.